Welcome friend to my YouTube channel Aptitude Math Learner with a new exciting question and the question today we are having that is the income of A, B and C are in the ratio that is 7 is to 9 is to 12 and their spendings are in the ratio that is 8 is to 9 is to 15. If A saves one fourth of his income then the saving of A, B and C are in the ratio of so here we have to find out the ratios for A, B and C. So the first thing we have to do we take let the income of A, B and C be that is 7x, 9x and 12x. So we have just taken the incomes. So incomes of A, B and C are in the ratio that is 7x and we have taken x, 9x and 12x. So these are the incomes and their expenditures are, so we take that is 8x, 9x and 15x. So the thing you, which you have to understand that we have to take the expenditure as y it's because for income we have taken x and for the expenditure we have taken y. So we have to find out the value of therefore So we have to find out the value. So here we are having the ratios we have to find. So this is the income. So this is income for A and that is 7x minus. So we have to minus its expenditure to find out the savings of A, B and C. So from the incomes, if we minus the expenditures and uh, expenditure for E, we have that is 8Y. So this becomes, so we know that saving is equals to income minus expenditure. So, this is the income minus with the expenditure, we get here the saving. So, this is the formula for saving. So, ratio and for B, so this was for A and for B, we are having the incomes 9x and his expenditure for B that is 9y. So, this becomes that is 9x minus 9y ratio and for C that is 12x minus 15y so after taking minus uh, for the expenditure in the saving we get the savings so we have to find out this but we don't know any value but in the question if you see it says that if A saves one fourth of his income. So we take that is if if he is one fourth. So one fourth of his income. So for A, we are having the income that is seven x. So. We have just taken income of E that is 7x. So, one fourth, one fourth of A's income and A's income that is 7x. So, this becomes that is, so this becomes 7 upon fourth x. And this is the saving. 
So now this is the saving for A. So if A saves one fourth of his income, so one fourth is the savings for A. And we have just taken this. So here to understand. So income minus expenditure. So income minus expenditure. So from the income, if we minus expenditure, we get the savings. And here we are only having the values for E. So the income is 7x. So this is 7x. So 7x minus and the expenditure we are having that is 8y is equal to and saving is how much for E? So this is for E. For E, you know. So this becomes that is 7 upon 4x and now we have to find out the values. So here if you see this is x and this is x. So here we get that is 7x minus. So here it is plus it goes this side becomes minus 7 upon 4x is equal to and this is minus 8y goes this side becomes 8 one and now we have to find out the values for x and y so taking lcm for 4 we get so 4 multiplied by 7 that is 28 28x minus and 4 4 cancels out we get here only 7x is equal to 8y and this becomes that is 28 minus 7 that is 21x divided by 4 is equal to 8y and now we have to find the values for x and y so this is x x and this y goes downward so y is equal to so this is 8 and this 4 goes upward and it multiplies by 8 upon and this 21 goes downward this is 21 and the value for x and y becomes that is so 8 multiplied by 4 that is 32 32 divided by 21 so this is the value for x so this is x and this is y we have just found the value for x and y so here x is equal to that is x is 32 and y is 21 and y is equal to 21 so these are the values for x and y and now here so this was to find so we have to find out the value of this the ratios for a b and c and now we take this portion so this is equation number one we, if we take and now we take the equation one so therefore now and the equation one was that is 7x minus 8y ratio so this is the same thing we have just taken here i hope that here you have completely understood and now putting the values for x and y so x is 32 and y is 21 so this becomes that is 7 multiplied by 32 so this is the value of x minus 8 multiplied by 21 ratio and 9 multiplied by 32 minus 9 multiplied by 21 ratio and here for 12 12 multiplied by 32 so 32 is the value of x minus 15 multiplied by 21 and 21 is the value of y we have just found the values here so x is equal to 32 and y is equal to 21 so this becomes that is 
so 224 minus 168 ratio 228 so 9 multiplied by 32 that is 288 sorry 288 minus 189 ratio and 384 so 12 multiplied by 32 that is 384 minus and 15 by 21 that is 300 and 15 so this becomes that is so 224 minus 168 that is 56 ratio 99 ratio 69 so we have just found out the ratios for a b and c so these are the ratios of the savings for a b and c so therefore their ratio will be their saving ratio that is 56 99 and 69 so these ratios are the answer i hope you have completely understood so thank you very much